Hello everybody, my name is Matters, and today I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to use the auto-tune or new tone feature on FL Studio. I was actually just now working on this and I decided, hey, might as well turn this into a little tutorial because that's what I'm working on right now. So, how do you do freaking vocals? I would say that the best way to add auto-tune to your track when you don't really have a bunch of extra options is to use New Tone. Now, New Tone isn't in the standard version. I believe it's in the second pack that they have or this, I guess the second upgrade to the uh, next pack, but you don't have to buy the next pack. You could actually just buy New Tone itself and install that. You wanna open up this window right here. Uh, this is going to be, I don't even know what they call it. So you're gonna open it, that thing, then you're gonna go to New Tone. Um, now it's pretty simple, you just double click on your audio, whatever clip you want to edit, this one, right? And you click. Uh, I feel like everything just a waste of time. Yeah, sorry, um, my vocals <laughs> right now are not very good. So uh, basically what I'm doing here is there's a song that I thought was really cool. What I'm doing right now is I'm reproducing a track that already been released by Eric DOA or Eric Doa or however you pronounce it. She asked me what my life is like. So this is a pretty dope song. So I'll just play a little clip real quick. I hope I don't get copyright strike, but. I feel like everything just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I you mine. All right, I don't know how much I'm allowed to play, so we'll see how that goes. Basically, I'm trying to do the same thing. I have a couple of vocals already pre-recorded. This one right here. I feel like everything's just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I have to give you mine. Talk a shit, act like a snake, great fine. These are, these are my blank vocals. Cringe warning, you will now hear the cringe of my voice. I feel like everything just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I have to give you mine. Zoom in so you can kind of see what's going on here at the subatomic level. We have three tools right here, which are very useful. Um, and then the cutting tool right here, which is also very useful. But these are your individual notes. So you can actually click and drag each individual note and you can go make yourself cry but uh, we don't want to do that the next thing you want to probably do is probably cut sometimes your notes don't uh, get picked up so as you can see I cut that right there and this one fell down let me show you that again so I cut this right here and one of the notes fell down and that's uh, because not all of your notes are going to be perfect. And what New Tone does is it tries to automatically pitch correct your vocals. You wanna have the most control possible over your vocals. Small little bits and pieces is pretty useful because you get a lot more control over the actual notes that you're hitting. So you could have like a word be everything, everything or you could have like everything. You know what I mean? You can do a lot more control. You can pitch up in the middle of a sentence if you want to, or in the middle of a word. Once you have gone ahead and cut whatever you want to cut, if you want to change the amount that you can cut, you go up to this little cut tool right here, and then uh, you're going to change, let's see, snap to grid. So you're going to change snap to grid. You can change it to eighth notes. You can change it to 16th notes. You can change it to whatever you want. Now, one of the biggest issues that I notice on a lot of tutorials is a lot of people will tell you how to do things and say, this is the right way to do things. Anybody who tells you that you have to do something a specific way because it sounds better is a liar because there's no such thing as sounding better. There's just preferences. That's kind of how things work though, right? It's all preferences. Eventually preferences will change. So just make whatever you want, enjoy making music, enjoy making your own style and being unique. Yeah, and just try to make your stuff sound good. That's it. Just make your stuff sound as good as you possibly can. But trying out new things is always a good thing too. So once we have cut everything, you wanna select it all. Now, the issue is with just zooming out and selecting everything is that it sometimes doesn't select these little tiny bits right here. I don't know why it doesn't do that, but it just doesn't sometimes. <laughs> a good way to get around that is just do control A and that stands for control all and it's select all. So basically control A is selecting everything. So now it has selected everything in this loop. We're not gonna worry about this cause I don't really, that was just kind of me getting in tune cause I, again, my vocals have been terrible today. So we have cut everything. Go ahead and turn off your little cut tool. Make sure that it's turned off. And then you just wanna go ahead and hover over the top of any single word or note or whatever you wanna call it. And you just right click and boom. Now it has centered everything. So we need to adjust these notes. So you can adjust the notes by hand or you can do something really cool. Now I have to figure this out because I forgot what key I'm in, 
But let me show you guys something really cool. So I'm in the key of, okay, so I'm in the key of D, I think. I'm in the key of G. <laughs> just leave a comment down below if you want me to do a tutorial on how to find the key of your song. It's pretty simple, it's just do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, basically. So do, re, mi, fa, Oh, uh, well, bruh. Jesus. So anyway, but I'm in a major key right now. Man, I'm 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 in a major key right now, bruh. This sounds like a it sounds like you're in like a mood or something. I'm in a major key, bruh. Once you have found your key, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to uh this little um what the frick is this this little scissors. You're gonna go to the scissors and you're gonna find either major or minor right here. And we are in major and we are in major G. So you click G and guess what happens? Nothing. So after you've selected your key, right, or your scale, whatever you want to call it, then you go snap to scale. And when I found this out, I was like, oh my God, nobody even taught me this. But you click snap to scale, and what it does is it fits all the notes automatically to the scale. And even when you're dragging them up, it fits them all to the scale automatically every single time so like it's like snapping to grid but instead of snap to grid you snap to scale so it's pretty cool so you can actually just freely mess with your notes now and it'll be a lot easier to figure out exactly what notes you're trying to hit i feel like everything just a waste of time you giving up your heart i have to give you mine um there's this little thing called variation and what this does is it changes the amount of i guess vibrato or uh, variation in the note itself as you're singing it. So as you can see, these little lines are moving up and down. They're going squiggly, squiggly, right? So you can make it have squiggly lines or straight lines. And basically what this does is it makes you sound like kind of weird and wacky when you're singing. I feel like everything just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I have to give you mine. The center of the note is right here. And these are the deviations up and down from the note. So if you want to just center your notes completely, you can sound more robotic, you can sound more auto-tuned. I feel like everything just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I have to give you mine. If you're really going for like a full auto-tune, young thug kind of sound, uh, you can just turn the variation down, center your notes, and then turn the transition down. And as you can see, another thing that's changing with the notes when you turn down transition is the actual change in the uh, line. So this line just basically, again, it indicates the variation from the center of the note. So the center of the note going to this note kind of smoothly pans up, and then it smoothly pans down to the next note. Or you can just have a hard stop uh, and switch from note to note more um, robotically, basically. I feel like everything just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I have to give you mine. She said I cut it close. I made your ex through the email dropping off some clothes. I so that kind of shows you how you can do that. So we want to go ahead and go through now and check all of the notes and make sure all the notes are in the proper place. Just click and drag it and what it'll do is it'll save it on an audio file on here. So you click right here and you drag it and you just put it wherever you want it. Bada bing boom bam. I, I promise guys, my, my vocals are good sometimes. It's just that uh, I haven't practiced in about like three weeks. I feel like everything just a waste of time. You giving up your heart, I have to give you mine. Like a shit, like a snake. Show you what it's like. So yeah, it definitely sounds better with a lot of auto-tune. Uh, this is not a song that would sound good without it. That's for sure. Uh, I hope you guys like that. I really do hope that it helped you out. Anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Click the like button if you liked the video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, leave a comment down below. I can do a bunch of different tutorials. I've been doing this for a while. So hopefully I can help you guys out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.